Today we're making a winter and fall comfort food, butternut squash soup, and you are gonna love it. This is such a simple soup to make and it is so delicious. There are many recipes that add other vegetables like carrots or potato. So don't be afraid to mix and match and create your favorite version. But today we'll keep it simple and highlight the flavor of the squash. Let's get started. Cooking is always about ingredients, time and temperature. And if you pay attention to those three things, you'll always have consistent results. First, we're gonna get organized. The French call this mise en place. And all mise en place is, is having all the ingredients and the tools that you need right in front of you. Mise en place is less stress. We'll prep all the ingredients and put them in what we call a conga line, which is nothing but the order in which they appear in the recipe. Let's prep. All right, so let's talk about the ingredients. We're gonna use two pounds of cubed butternut squash, one medium onion, you're gonna cut it in half and slice it, two to four cloves of garlic, depending on the size, chopped, one teaspoon of sea salt, one quarter spoon of freshly ground black pepper, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, two tablespoons of olive oil, four cups of chicken broth or more if necessary one or two tablespoons of maple syrup. You're gonna use that to taste. And optionally, you can use one cup of heavy cream if you like. Okay, so we're ready to cook. First, let's preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, we're going to cut the squash in large cubes, being very careful with the knife. Cut it in half and let it rest firmly on the board. You can use a vegetable peeler if you like to peel the skin. Put the squash on a large baking sheet, drizzle with olive oil and sprinkle with salt and pepper and roast it for 30 to 40 minutes. Make sure you toss it around with a spatula once or twice during cooking. Now we're gonna add olive oil and butter to a saucepan and you're gonna heat it up until it's bubbly. We're gonna add the onions and cook them until they're translucent. That's about three, four minutes. Then we're gonna add the garlic and cook it until it's fragrant for about a minute. Make sure not to burn it. Then we're gonna add the roasted squash and toss everything together to combine flavors. Add the chicken broth and let it simmer for about five minutes. Then blend it with an immersion blender and or you may have to do it in batches in a countertop blender, regular blender. You'll blend until this is smooth and you can always smooth it out, adding a little bit more chicken stock. At the very end, you're gonna add the maple syrup, and optionally, you can add a few dashes of Tabasco, which I do. If you're using the cream, this is the time to add it as well. And then always make sure that you're gonna adjust for salt if it's needed before serving. Finally, my favorite moment, taste test. And you know this was supposed to be a winter show, right? But look, it's what, what is what? What is it, Joanne? March? It's March. March. But, so this is for my friends in Canada, all right? Because it's still chilly up there, right? Now, if you're not in Canada, blast that AC down to 50. Make it chilly, and it's gonna be kind of winter for you. But I tell you what, it is delicious. To me, this is delicious any time of the year, okay? All right, now. Let me go. Mmm. Man, it's so good. It's yummy. It is, you know, I added a little bit of Tabasco at the end. So it has a tiny flavor. You can't even know what it is. A hint of spice. Um, and it's it's just delicious. It's heartwarming. This is what this is. So I'm going to invite my friend and Isabella's boyfriend. I'm not gonna say his name because he's a famous uh, musician. 
right? You, you might see them on YouTube, whatever. I don't want to, all right? Because if not, this is a co copyright issue, all right? Uh, come, famous man, the taco person calls him El Diablo, okay? <laughs> so what's interesting about this taste test is a first ever on Gas in the Kitchen. This dude has never had soup. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's not entirely true. He's never had squash soup. <laughs> when I told him we were gonna do some squash, he just went like, what? You're gonna do what? Okay, no, I'm not gonna squash you. Uh, it's just soup, okay? So I'm gonna make it. He never had this after he turned six months, okay? So let's see, wrap that. And tell me what you think, be honest, okay? okay. Now, the consistency might be too thick for you if you want it okay. uh, uh, soupier. We can add a little bit of chicken stock and do that. You can always adjust uh, in the pan. So, go okay. ahead. Let's try. Mmm. Creamy. But well, sweet though. I didn't, I didn't actually expect it to be sweet. Oh, I didn't think it was going to be you sweet. You have a sweet tooth, right? Yeah. See, I tricked you. <laughs> it's really good. You say you put Tabasco in it? Uh, just, just, a, just, a just a dash, just a dash. You can taste it a tiny bit. You can taste it a little bit, right? Yeah. You have good taste buds. That's why I wanted you to mm -hmm. try this. Cause it's so, good. So you, it's, it's, you're not... I'm getting warmed up. You're getting warmed I'm up? Getting warmed up. <laughs> it's right? 50 in here and I'm I, getting warmed you know, up. I, I, we set I, it down. I cranked it up, exactly. right? Cause we're at the beach, right? Look, mm -hmm. you just came from the beach. Right. But, um, man, but so honestly, is this something they should try? Yes. Absolutely. This is a hundred percent something they should make. Uh, awesome. You see, even the dogs are happy. <laughs> you know what? Four things. Subscribe, hit like, share with your friends, and say cook it. Cook it. There you go. <laughs> cook it. You can cook it. I promise this is so simple to make and super satisfying. Next, we're going to Italy and we're having chicken parmesan. Mm. It's going to be What's delicious. It gonna be? Delicious. <laughs> Come back and see us.